Yo guys, this is HSTS here, and I'm gonna review Marvel Legends Ghost Rider. And this figure is a variance. The actual figure has blue flames, not red flames. So first, let's get into his accessories. He comes with the left arm, as well as the right arm for the build a figure Terax. And he does come with a paper, providing you instructions how to build Terax and the other figures from this way. And at the other side, it also provides you tales of Terax, and it is the 6 of 6, and it's talking about Annihilus. And now, since i never seen Ghost Rider in this costume, I want to do some size comparisons. Here is the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Ghost Rider, and as you can see, the costume looks way different than this one. And here is the movie Ghost Rider, comparing to him and actually these two Ghost Riders their costume kind of looks a bit similar but nothing like that costume so first let's get into the detail the sculpting and all that the head sculpt is just phenomenal very nice uh, I don't know if you could see but there is the shading orange shading around the mouth I like how they did this red paint in the eyes very very cool I like how they did the translucent plastic on the shoulder pads as well as on the head and it's actually red and orange so that's really cool and it just reflects as you can see right here it's reflecting and also the collar and it's reflecting at the shoulder pads chest piece and a little bit on the belt just a little bit I like how they did the chains very very nice detail paint applications and detail with this figures are very awesome I like how they did the armor right here the arm close to the wrist very very cool and I like how they did the knee pads very very cool very nice paint job and detailing really cool I like how they did the armor right here and how they did the spikes and I like how they did the spikes at the boots and here is a back view of him and it does actually kind of look as good as the fronts just because there is as you can see wrinkles so that is very awesome and I like how they did the chains very nice I like how they molded the wrinkles it just looks very realistic so now let's get into his articulation his head does go up and down not really up too far but it does go down and it does go 360 arms could go 360 but it gets hindered by the shoulder pad it does go in and out 360 at the bicep, it bends two points at the elbow, and it, the wrist goes up and down as well as go 360. There is an ab crunch that goes down, not really up because the coat actually hinders it. And there is waist articulation that does go 360. The legs goes up and down, in and out, 360 at the upper thigh, bend two points at the knee, very awesome and there is the foot articulation that goes 360 and does go up and down so very nice articulation it is a bit limited but you could still put him in very awesome poses this figure is very phenomenal the head sculpt is very awesome I like how they did the paint job paint applications just detail mold articulation again is a bit limited but you could still put him in pretty cool poses so thanks for watching my review and please subscribe for more peace out